Hi, this is Kurt with Grimberg, and this is our Saber SL7 package. Let me show you what's in here. We've got from the manufacturer, we've got a uh, squeegee, a couple tools, and some silicone, and also a extra O-ring. We include 100 joule projectiles and our upgraded A5 barrel. Get this out here. This launcher has been known as the Mission TPR in the past and it's also very similar to the Tipman Tipix paintball marker. See the box? It only comes from the manufacturer in safety orange. So the first thing we do is we take it completely apart and we dye the shell black. You see this valve? The manufacturer removed the velocity adjustment right here. On some of the old mission launchers and currently on the Tipman Tipix paintball marker you have this velocity adjustment. So what we do is we open up the marker and we turn this valve to near maximum for you. Here's the upgraded A5 barrel we make and it just installs in the launcher like this. You unscrew the stock barrel and screw in our barrel makes it a little bit longer but that also gets the power up the barrel is bore matched to our projectiles so you get no air or almost no air blowing by the sides and that's how you get all the power I'm gonna see if I can show you how close the projectiles match the barrel don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's really, really close. I mean, just a, a thousandth on each side. So we'll just put that back in there again. Okay. You load the CO2 through a cap in the front. It just twists off and pulls out. You miss that. You just twist it and pull it out. And then a CO2 cartridge goes right in the front. Where is it? Cat goes on, push it in, and you're all set. Magazine comes out. You load the projectiles. It takes seven rounds, and these are actually some of the best magazines in the industry. They rarely have a problem jamming. There's your seven round magazine. Goes right in the grip. The CO2 powers seven rounds. Five of them are really strong, and the last two, you don't want to get hit in the eye with them, but they're a little bit less strong. To puncture the CO2, all you have to do is pull the trigger, like a half a pull, and then release it, and then you'll be able to fire your first shot. And it's punctured. Gonna shoot some ballistic gelatin. See how it goes. Ready? Oh. All right. Let's get a tape measure. That first shot is about an inch and a quarter, a little more than an inch and a quarter. 
Hope you can see that there. That's this one here. These ones on this side were done by a VKS, Pepperball VKS launcher. It's really looking about the same. Using this setup you should get about 365 to 375 feet per second or 50 to 52 joules. Alright, it's a little dark today so hope you can see the chronograph. Three sixty eight, three forty three, three fifteen, 251 231 That's it. This launcher is large and really not fun to carry around, but if it's for home defense, then it's a really capable launcher. I'd go as far to say as it's one of our favorite launchers. It's easy to maintain and it's less likely to malfunction than a bunch of other launchers of its kind. I'm going to read you something from a customer who just sent us an email like a half hour before we started making this video. He's in Croatia. I'll just say this, Sabre is wicked. Everything I ever wanted for home defense in a country where firearms are strictly regulated for civilians, with lots of illegal firearms from the war in the 90s that ended up in the hands of mafia, corrupt politicians, and small criminals. Keep up the great work, five stars. Thank you for your interest, and I hope to hear your thoughts in the comments.